What's up everybody? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I have a fun video for you today. I have my five go-to cottage cheese as the secret ingredient recipes for you that I've just made one video putting them all in. And these are tried and true. They're delicious. They're my in my rotation. They help me hit my protein. They help fit into my macros. Oh my gosh, they're just everything. Now, if you would have told me cottage cheese was gonna be a craze or a trend, I would have laughed. Um, but here we are, it is now 2023 and cottage cheese is having its year. <laughs> Now, you remember a couple years ago, cauliflower was everything, and then what was the, the chaffle, the year of the chaffle, there was Greek yogurt, um, you name it. Well, now we're currently on cottage cheese. So I personally was not a big fan of cottage cheese growing up. I wouldn't like, I don't not like cottage cheese, but I wouldn't reach for it as a snack or just in cooking in general. However, it is a great ingredient inside a recipe. Um, I was just never that person that could sit down and just eat cottage cheese and peaches or something. I just, I was like, eh, I'd rather nothing. But, you know, being, I, being a skeptic uh, that this could be something that I would reach for, I would have never believed myself if you would have said that I was going to be making videos about cottage cheese. <laughs> I would have said you were crazy. But hear me out, for all those skeptics out there, Cottage cheese is actually a really good, powerful ingredient. Additionally, you can get cottage cheese with cultures in it. So boost that gut health, you know, boost that immunity um, and make it healthier. Um, a lots of recipes that are like a ranch or a tangy type recipe can be made using cottage cheese. You know, the list goes on. Um, but I'm gonna give you five recipes today. Um, maybe in a follow-up video, I'll do five more since I have several ones that in my lineup. And when I started that Flab Fighter Challenge, I was, you know, searching for recipes and stuff and it was like cottage cheese, everything. So I have um, two, I have two breakfasts um, I have a chaffle, I have, I have eggs, and then I have a lunch that can also be a dinner, um, which is so easy, so delicious, and then I have an actual dinner recipe, and then I have a version of, of cottage cheese protein ice cream that's different than the one I showed you last week. So lots of good stuff here. I'm here for it, and I will say, though, if you were doing a, he a keto diet, you're going to want more of the full fat. If, you want to, if you're watching like the fat, you know, go for the the uh, low fat or 2%. That's what I typically get, um, unless I'm looking for more of a full fat. Um, but each, just grab which one works and fits into your macros. So with that said, I have five recipes coming up. I did not have these all on the same day. These are from just random days last week that I was like, you know what, I should film this type of thing. So anyways, let's get this video started. And real quick, before we get into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. Element electrolytes have been my go-to electrolyte. They help me get my water in. They help me power through my workouts. They help me through my fasting. There's so many reasons that you want to use electrolytes. Each packet contains a science back ratio of electrolytes. So you're getting 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. They are gluten-free, sugar-free, no artificial flavors, no fillers, no colors, just a delicious electrolyte to add to your lineup. Uh, my favorite is the watermelon salt, but I also like raspberry. I'll put one packet in here with my water, I a 32 ounce bottle of water. I'll sip on that through my workout, I'll sip on that when I'm fasting, and then throughout the rest of the day, I'll just refill that with water. I'll tell you, it's a game changer. So anyways, I have a promo for you that's only available for us, the Keto Rewind community, but you can use this link as many times as you want, and you can get this free sample pack with any order. So go to www.drinklmnt.com forward slash keto rewind. That is drinklmnt.com forward slash keto rewind and get this free sample pack. Thank you Element for sponsoring this video. Okay, it is time to make some yummy chaffles. This recipe is using cottage cheese. So you can get a high protein, easy, crunchy, crispy, easy lunch. So let me show you how I'm going to make it. So I'm going to make 
This recipe either will make two of the mini dash size chaffles or one of the big standard size one. So if you like to make a lot of chaffles, you just make this recipe um, divide it between two chaffles in there or the one. So I have cottage cheese right here. Um, make sure you look at what the back of your um, your ingredients list is. That is pretty simple. It is grade A skim milk, cream, sea, sea salt, cultures, that's it. You know, so we got in a half cup, 14 grams of protein um, with only 80 calories. Those, those macros are perfect. I'm going to use just the mozzarella shredded cheese. Again, um, you can mix and match this recipe with different cheeses. And I'm using egg whites. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a half cup of cottage cheese in this bowl. Let me switch my scale on. And hold on. Okay, so I'm looking for 110 grams or a half cup. little bit extra 112 close enough 109 now I'm gonna zero out my scale and in three tablespoons of egg whites I that weighs 48 grams so I'm going to put 48 grams into my mixture here you could do a whole egg but I'm trying to keep the calories down Oh, I'm a little extra. That's all right. I never get mad if I go over on protein. <laughs> and I'm going to mix that together real quick. Okay, so I've measured out half cup of mozzarella cheese. That goes down first. And next, this is going to go fast, so we got to work, work a little quick. Pour the mixture right on top. And then top it again. This is what gives it that crunch. Doesn't that look so good? And then optionally, well, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to put a quarter cup of peppers and onions right on top. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to cover it up and start cooking. Let's see. When my light is on, it is ready. So let's take a look. Oh boy. Does that not look tasty? You can see the peppers and the onions and the crunchy cheese. All right, let me pull it out of there and put it on a plate. All right, and there you have it. Listen. Nice and crunchy. Hear that? Mm -mm -mm. So yummy. And now I'm gonna make one for Kyle. Okay, so there's the macros for this chaffle. You're walking away with 32 grams of protein for only 279 calories. That is a great, those are great macros. So next up, we just have a scrambled egg with cottage cheese. Um, and this one, you can use whichever fat you want, depending on your macros. I'm just gonna use the 2% for this because I wanna use the yolks to help flavor it, everything. Um, but that you can do uh, egg white and maybe a full fat cottage cheese, just, you know, whatever your, whatever the case may be. So that's one serving of a cottage cheese. And then I'm just going to add two eggs to this. Um, today's a keto day. So we're just going, going to use the whole egg. But again, you can, you can really have a lot of flexibility on yolks and fat content and all that to make this fit. And for such a small little bowl, you're getting a pile of protein. So I'm just going to season this up. This is optional um, but I'm adding some garlic salt and pepper and just remember that cottage cheese has a little bit of a saltier flavor so just be careful on the salt that you add just mix this all up in a bowl until that egg is incorporated with the cottage cheese and I will say um, the first time I cooked this I didn't realize that if you cook it too long to try and dry it out, the, it like gets runny. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Um, this is gonna make a nice, a wetter scrambled cheese taste, uh, texture when it's done cooking. Beyond that, it starts separating. So it's like that, there's a fine line between cooked and um, cooked too much. So I'm just gonna mix that around in the pan. And for me, I like dry scrambled eggs, so that's why I had to learn that. <laughs> Um, but it's no big deal. It's just a little water that like separates um, But you can see it in the bowl there. I'm adding some chives on top Such a flavorful little bowl of eggs and a lot of protein in this teensy weensy bowl So um, you're getting 26 grams of protein in that teensy weensy bowl 
So next we have a super easy lunch or dinner. I'm using taco meat, equal parts taco meat and equal parts cottage cheese with a side of protein chips, the Quest protein chips. Um, and just a basic recipe with a little uh, cheese on top and some salsa. Oh my gosh, this is probably the best meal ever. You're getting 61 grams of protein in that with this, following this recipe right here. <laughs> So, and this is a skinny, quote unquote, Alfredo or an alternative. Um, if you are just needing to watch your fat but eat, get your protein in, this is a great recipe alternative to a full fat like cream based recipe. So you're gonna make the sauce in a some type of a blender and you just need a couple ingredients. Uh, you need cottage cheese, half and half, or if you're using, um, if you want more of like a higher fat content, use uh, heavy cream. But you're gonna measure out uh, one, I forget, I'll put the recipe in the, in the in the end here. But I believe it was like a cup of cottage cheese and it doesn't matter what curd size because we're blending it. Um, so 227 grams is what I'm working with here. This is gonna feed four, by the way. Um, and then I'm just putting that in my Vitamix, adding a cup of cream or half and half. And then I'm just gonna season up with some garlic powder. I'm, I'm generous with garlic powder, so I did a whole teaspoon of garlic powder. And a, remember, when you have uh, cottage cheese, it's salty, so I did um, a little salt. So basically do salt to taste. Do a little bit at a time and find out where your amount is. And it, for me, it was around a little less than a half teaspoon, kind of like a third teaspoon. Um, but just season it up to taste. And then all you're gonna do is put your lid on and puree that so that all those curds smooth out. And it was a pretty cool process. I was expecting like a chunky sauce and it's looking pretty darn good. So meanwhile, I have chicken in a pan that's been just cooking. cooking um, and I'm gonna season it up with black pepper, white pepper, a little garlic powder, and then, uh, by the way, if you make a white sauce, use white pepper. I don't know why, but it just makes those sauces just come together nicely. Um, it's optional, but black pepper's fine. But um, And then you're gonna take that mixture, now that it's all smooth, and pour it in, and you're just gonna warm this up. So the chicken's already cooked, then you're gonna add the, the, the cheese, and it thickens up nicely. You could put some xanthan gum in the sauce if you want it thicker. I don't mind a runnier sauce. I like less ingredients in my food. Um, and then just for fun, I threw a cup of frozen broccoli in there. Um, and then just to warm that through, and then you're gonna put a cup of Parmesan cheese. So a really good quality Parmesan cheese. That helped thicken up the sauce a little bit as well. But oh my gosh, this was so, so good and protein packed. So that is my bowl. Um, it's a one pot meal. It's kind of like, it's kind of like an Alfredo soup. Um, but like I said, you could, you could thin that down a little bit thing, but I don't mind it runny. So the, that is 66 grams of protein for only 421 calories. And lastly, we have another version of protein ice cream, but instead of putting this in the freezer, I'm gonna just have this cold. So I have PB2 in place of, or peanut butter powder, in place of um, the peanut butter. So you're saving a lot of fat that way. Um, and that, that means at the end of the day, when you have uh, protein that you still need to get without smashing it with your fat and carb, this was a great alternative. So that's five servings. I put it right back in the container. Um, I sweetened it up with bocha sweet, and that is it. And then when I serve out this portion, I put a little sugar-free chocolate chips. Um, but that is basically it. So that is my, instead of putting that in the freezer and letting it turn into ice cream, I just had it as like a mousse. And I put a little sugar-free uh, whipped cream on the top. So that is 20 more grams of protein for only 213 calories. Well, that is five delicious high protein recipes that can fit into your macros, whether you're high protein, keto, low carb, whatever the case may be. If you just wanna get your protein in, these are great starter recipes. So I'll see you at the next video. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind.